And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Just let's go. Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Just Ask Joey. I am Joey. I have recorded this intro about 700 friggin' times already, so this will be the last one. I can feel it. This is a place where you can ask me anything. You can ask about me if you want. I'm not that interesting, but you can also ask about just something that's going on generally in your life, something that's going on in your friend's life. You need some advice. You need some insight. You want to talk about anything, really, sports, health, nutrition, relationships, uh, mental health, whatever. I'm kind of uh, kind of been through a lot of stuff and mostly self-induced stuff. And I think that's where people struggle the most when they find themselves in crappy situations. And it's pretty much their fault. And just to be clear, whatever situation you're in in life, good or bad, It is completely your fault. So you need to take ownership of it, figure it out, clean it up, and then move on and then get better and have a better day tomorrow than you did today and have a better day today than you did yesterday. It's all about getting better. It's all about figuring your stuff out. It's all about moving forward. So today for the number one question of the day, what are the five most important things for a man to learn in life? Narrowing it down to five, that's cool. Maybe there's four important things. Maybe there's six important things. There's like a thousand important things. But we want five. I'm going to give you five. So number five, you need to love yourself before you can love anybody else. Sounds a little cliche, I know. But if you don't accept you, then how are you going to accept yourself being loved by somebody else and then how are you going to love somebody else when you don't really love you there are uh there are people who are kind of always in and out of relationships and they never really get a chance to really even figure out who they are they become a different person with every every different person they're in a relationship with but then they never figure out who it is that that they are so take time to figure yourself out take time to love yourself love your strengths love your weaknesses, work on yourself to be the best you possible. That way, when somebody comes into your life, one, you know what you're looking for in a partner because you know you, and you will choose the things that are beneficial for you in life when you're choosing that partner. So number five, you need to love yourself before you can ever truly love someone else. Number four, your body and your mind are machines. You don't treat machines shitty. You put oil in your car. You put good gas in your car. So think about your body the same way. For it to work efficiently and effectively, for it to feel good, for it to function well, you need to put good things in. You put healthy foods and stuff in your body, and you put healthy things in your mind. You don't bombard them with like Twinkies and and pizza and McDonald's and all that other crap. And then with your mind, you don't fill it with just, you know, kind of bullshit TV and shitty books and and drama on the internet or whatever so treat your body and your mind the way you want it to give back to you good in good out sounds kind of hippie but it's true uh number three pick your best friend to be your life partner don't pick somebody that you can't share everything with don't pick somebody that you can't share your darkest secrets with Don't pick somebody that when you're excited, they're not the first person you think of. I know for for me, when I, uh, when something awesome happens and my wife isn't there, it doesn't, it doesn't feel the same because she's not there to experience it with me. And it, it's not really the same when I explain it to her later, you know, it loses something, whether it's a beautiful sunset, whether it's you know, a cool song, whether it's just whatever, whatever it is, when she's not there, it kind of takes away from the moment. And um, when you find that person, you know that that's the right person. And if you don't have that person, it's not the right person. Uh, Number two, constantly learn. Be constantly learning, constantly growing. Your brain is a muscle. 
and the more you use it, the better it functions. So constantly learn about yourself, learn information, learn new, uh, learn new skills, try new things. It, it, you constantly have your mind in a state of flux and a state of growing and, and straining and, and getting better. You, uh, your brain works, works better. So the things that you do that you, every day you start to think of them differently. The things that you want to learn about, you have better questions, better questions, get better answers, better answers, get you, get you further. So you want to try to keep pushing yourself to learn. Don't just veg out. Well, I mean, if you want to just veg out, just if you're that person, whatever, there's nothing I can say that's going to, that's going to change that. But you want to be in a position where you are at the top of your game and learning every day and learning something different every day is at the top of your game. If you go to work and just go, you know, you're like doing the, the, the stereotypical, you know, cheese sandwich factory where there's the conveyor belt comes and bread, cheese bread and you're just doing that all day mindless and then you go home and you put on the housewives or you put on some some crap on vh1 or whatever you, what's your brain doing nothing it's doing nothing all day making cheese sandwiches and then you go home and it's doing nothing except getting built up on other people's drama it doesn't really sound too healthy so get yourself in this in a state where you're constantly learning every day and number one the number one thing is you only get one shot at life that's it so you can either wake up every day with a purpose and go and accomplish that or you can wake up every day without a purpose and then you kind of get drawn in where's what's the world gonna take me today you get blown a little this way you get blown a little that way if you if you're in a situation where you don't know who you are and you don't know what your goals are and you don't have your northern star you're going to get kind of blown around in the wind of the world and that's not really a good place to be because what happens is you may not have a direction but you'll end up doing some some crazy shit that that you know is not you but because you just were kind of oh whatever we'll see what happens oh whatever we'll see what happens and you get drawn into things that you wouldn't necessarily get drawn into you only have one shot at this. As my father-in-law says, this is not a dress rehearsal. And it's not. So you need to sit back, figure yourself out, know who you are, know what your goals are, know when the line is crossed, when to say no, when to say yes, and things work out great. So if you have any other questions, if you have, you want to talk about this some more, we can do that. If you have, You can debate me on the one through five. Um, but if you have any other questions, hit me up in the comments here. Find me on Snapchat. Find me on Twitter. Find me on Facebook. Kind of wherever. I'm kind of all over the place. But, uh, yep. Ask away. And she was like, hmm? and he was like, nah. and we was like, what?